founding of the State of Israel was begun uh, in modern times, really in the 19th century. It was actually begun by Christian Zionists before the great movement of uh, the Zionist return and the Jewish return began. For 50 years, Christian Zionists from the United States, from Britain and from elsewhere, visited the Holy Land and spoke of the need for the Jews to come back and rebuild their national life uh, in the land of Israel. They said that the ingathering of the exiles, as uh, prophesied in the Bible, would uh, be possible. It could actually happen. And they infused the whole Zionist enterprise with enthusiasm and financial and political and moral support. In fact, a lot of our modern archaeology uh, dates back to the days when those biblical uh, believers and scholars came here and uncovered much of uh, what we had learned in the Bible. Uh, I have to say that the same partnership exists today. Today, of course, the Jewish state has been founded, and against uh, all odds, it was able to repel armies uh, ten times our size, and we've been uh, holding our own ever since. We've built a state, we've built a, a powerful economy with great institutions, great technology, but at the core of our existence stands that same uh, purpose of old, to rebuild the national life of the Jewish people in their ancestral homeland, the land of Israel. And for this, we need that same partnership today. Our best friends in the world, without a doubt, our best, most devoted, loyal, and indefatigable friends are the Christian Zionists who I'm speaking tonight uh, to. We are now facing new and sometimes grave enemies. Uh, they seek to extinguish not only the life of the Jewish state, but the light of freedom throughout the world. And these uh, mad, disciples of militant Islam threaten all of us. This is a threat to everyone and to every standard of decency and well-being and freedom that we hold dear. Uh, I think that for all these reasons, uh, he deserves my congratulations, the congratulations of the people of Israel and of decent people everywhere. And I urge you to continue to do what you're doing, to speak to your congressmen and your senators, to write letters to the newspapers, to come to rallies, to uh, come to Israel, to invest in Israel, by the way, it's a good deal. But above uh, everything else, to continue with this passion that you have to support the rebuild rebuilding of the Jewish state in the Jewish land. This is, uh, in many ways, a moral parable because, because I think many uh, in the world, a good chunk of mankind is looking at the story of Israel and they say, who will win out? The forces of good or the forces of evil? Will Israel survive and thrive? or will the forces of darkness have their, their day? Because what will be decided here will decide so much of the future of the world. And I have every faith and every confidence that our common values will win out because we're right and right makes strong.